Hi students, in this video we are going to discuss another activity from the chapter Acids, Bases and Salts. Let's see what is this activity and the conclusion of the activity that we are going to draw. For that we need to remember the main key concept. Whenever we have any acid, if it is dissolved in water, what ions does it produce? What ions does the acids will produce when they are dissolved in water children? When the acids are dissolved in water, what ions do they will produce? Yes, the acids when they are dissolved in water, acids when they are dissolved in water. Let us take one example of an acid. HCl, hydrochloric acid. When dissolved in water, when dissolved in water, this will dissociate to give H plus ions that are dissolved in water and also Cl minus ions. If you want to take further, like H2SO4. How do this H2SO4 will dissociate in water? It will dissociate to give 2H plus aqueous ions and also SO4 2 minus aqueous ions. Whatever it may be, when you say the acid is dissolved in water, it will form H plus ions. And we want to prove this that the produced is H plus ions when dissolved in water. For this question, it is raised as what happens to an acid or base in water solution? For this, we are going to take test tube. A test tube we have taken in that we have taken small amount of sodium chloride. What have we taken? Small amount of sodium chloride. For that we have added H2SO4, sulfuric acid. Now let us see what will be the reaction between sodium chloride and sulfuric acid. The sodium chloride when reacted with sulfuric acid. Here Hydrogens are reacting with chlorines to form hydrochloric acid in the gaseous state. In which state are they forming? Gaseous state. Remaining sodiums will combine with sulfate to form sodium sulfate. To form sodium sulfate. That will be in the liquid state only. Here how many chlorines are there only one? Here we got one. But H2S4 hydrogens are two. So we need to balance the mass to HCl. Balance the mass to HCl. So 2HCl plus Na2SO4 is the product. The form hydrochloric acid will be escaping through the delivery tube. We will pass it out through the delivery tube. And this gas that is coming out through the delivery tube, it is allowed to be passed on to the blue litmus paper. Why do we use blue litmus paper? What changes do you observe with the blue litmus paper? In the presence of acid, blue litmus paper will turn to red litmus. As I know. In the presence of acidic solution, blue litmus paper will be changing to red color. Here we have descriptor this one. Take one gram of sodium chloride in a test tube. Add concentrated H2S4 to the test tube. What do you observe? We observe some gas is coming out. Test the gas by passing out. 
He absorb moisture. He is to absorb moisture. So that will absorb the moisture and it makes the gas dry in condition. Which gas will be dry in condition? HCl that is released through the test tube, it makes that HCl to be dry in condition. So that is the purpose of God cellar God tube to make the HCl dry in condition. What is present in it? Calcium chloride. That will absorb the moisture. We have learned that NaOH when dissolved in water, what will be formed children? Na plus aquas and also OH minus aquas. This is what a base we discussed. Yet there is a point bases that are soluble in water. Bases that are soluble in water are known as are known as alkali what are they alkali very important point bases that are soluble in water are known as the alkali they have taken from the first group of elements of the periodic table the first group elements of the periodic table are also called as the alkali metals so in any question if you come across what is an alkali then you can write bases that are soluble in water are known as the alkali NaOH is soluble in water so it is also an alkali because there are some bases that are not soluble in water we cannot call them as the alkali We are my continuity point to give a very clear explanation what is meant by an concentrated acid and what is meant by an dilute acid. What is our topic now? To give the point of difference between concentrated acid and dilute acid. Before today, I want you to request, I want you to do this activity at your home. You take one lemon, cut it into two pieces. Yes. One of the pieces of lemon, you squeeze it on your tongue, the juice of lemon. How is the juice? Are they sour? Is it sour or bitter? Yeah. It is sore. How much sore is it? Too much or less? Now you try using the remaining half piece of lemon by squeezing it into a glass of water and then taste that water. Which one you find the sore is more? Yes, you will find the piece of lemon juice that we are taking directly it is more sour to taste than the juice of lemon that we dissolved in water the same we are applying here concentrated and diluted the concentrated acids they have more number of hydrogen H plus ions in them or in other words what is a diluted we are going to take 10 ml of concentrated acid and it is going to be added by 90 ml of water. 10 ml of any concentrated acid, when you add it for 90 ml of water, the total final solution it is 100 ml. We call it as a Dilute acid. What is it called as the diluted acid? So in a diluted acid, the water percentage is more than the acidic percentage. 
it will not hurt us much. Now there is a very good question here. I have two explanations. In one of my explanation for the upcoming question, you are going to choose two things. A beaker with an acid. In this beaker, there is some uh, 10 ml of sulfuric acid. And in this tube, we got some water. Now, what is the concept to dilute? We will take 10 ml of acid and 90 ml of water. Which one we must take first in the bacon? Do we take acid and for that I need to add water? Or do we take water and for that I need to add acid? Remember children, acids are readily producing H plus ions. Already is having more H plus ions. If a water particle is getting dropped into the beaker, before it reaches into the acid, these all particles of acid will try to get attached to the water molecules. Means they will try to splash out. They will try to splash out. Which are trying to splash out at a time. Acid particles are trying to come out of the beaker at a time to catch that water particle. In this situation, this entire contain will be coming out of the beaker. And when it is splashing out of that beaker, it will fall on the skin because you are going to hold the beaker and you are going to act. When it is falling on your skin, what will happen? The skin will be corroded by the acid. Remember, if you add water to the acid, the water particle before it reaches to the beaker, acid particles will try to catch that water molecule. So that will be splashed out of the container. Which will splash out of the container? Acid will splash out the container and that will hurt us. So never add water to the acid. Then what to add? You take water in a beaker and you add the acid slowly into the water. Here again the condition. When we are adding acid into the water, how do we need to add? We need to add slowly. If you add at any time, if you add at any time, these all acid particles will be readily reacting with water and they will release a large amount of heat at any time. This process that is what we call adding 10 ml of acid to 90 ml of water we call dilution. What we call as the dilution. Dilution is the process of adding 10 ml of water into 90 ml of water. 10 ml of acid into 90 ml of water to decrease the H plus ion concentration. Now, when we do slowly also, we can observe some amount of heat is evolved. Shall we call this one as an exothermic reaction? What is this one called as an exothermic reaction? What is an exothermic reaction? The reactions in which heat energy is released to the surroundings are known as the exothermic reactions. If we add a bit of acid to water, it will release more amount of heat and the beaker will break out. So, you must be very cautious when you are adding the acid to water to be done very slowly because it is an exothermic reaction. Write down the definition children for the dilution. Mixing of an acid or base with water resulting in decrease in the H3O plus or OH minus M concentration is known as 
dilution. I am repeating once again. Mixing of an acid or base with water. Resulting in decrease in the H3O plus or OH minus concentration is known as dilution. So up to now we have discussed what is meant by dilution. In the upcoming class we shall discuss in the next level of the chapter that is what about salts. So our conclusion of this part is acids will produce H plus ions, bases will produce OH minus ions in the water that we have concluded up to now. And we had already discussed the pH, potential of hydrogen and sensitivity of pH in the in and around our surroundings in the PPDs that we had got in the starting classes. So the upcoming classes we shall discuss about the SARS topic. Thank you.